me and Dylan and I are here at Golden Harvest. As you're gonna see, he has broken his PB 9.95 using pineapple boilies by FK and uh, Vix. and uh, Vix to fix in a PVA bag with some crushed up boilies, pineapple boilies, and plain boilies by FK specimen. And he's gonna take you through his rigs and all his equipment, and then you'll get back to me and I will describe my equipment. Thanks Brent for, for the intro. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you through uh, just like my basic setup, my rigs and the baits that I've used as Brent said to you already. Um, I use the pineapple uh, boilie from FK Specimen and the Vix the Fix Glug um, in a PVA bag. Me and Brent came to the idea of just trying to put a bit of feed out there in our spots and just see if we can get the fish to start like feeding in our swim and I didn't wait long for my first one. Um, it has been a few bumps like on the alarms and stuff but other than that nothing much um so yeah we've done the same setup again and we're going to just uh show you some of my rigs that i've done today um i don't know if you heard sean earlier was talking about the ronnies and the germans um that's also my go-to as you can see there that's my rig um this is a pure ronnie rig as you got the micro silver there not the bait screw um this is what i didn't catch my fish on this one i caught on the german which i'll show you shortly um, it's very easy to make, simple, doesn't doesn't take long to make and it works. I mean I've caught many of my fish here. Um, and that's that's yeah, that's just a result of I think of how the, the, the rigs turn. Um, I mean all the rigs turn, you know, the way they do, but for me these are just the best. Um, and then yeah, I mean um, we we've sort of been fishing a few times at the at the dam at the island, um, which we had quite a lot of success on, but we decided to come to swim one today. Um, Brent is in swim two and the others are in swim three. Um, and yeah, I just, I found a small little pocket there by the trees um, and that's where I've been casting. I've got one out further, about 70 meters out and that one hasn't been doing much, but the one that's close to the PVA bag is the one that's doing all the work. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my setup. That's just basically what I've been using. As I say, FK specimen boilies is just really, really good. and. For me personally, I find that they that they work fast. I mean, it's, it says it all itself. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna pass you back to Brent now, and he'll show you his setup and his bait. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can't get any more. And just just please subscribe to these videos and just keep supporting us. Thanks. So guys, like uh, Dylan said about his rigs. I'm just gonna take you through to my rigs and it's pretty much similar to his only thing I use the mono but a stiff boom mono so that it kicks out and um, there's the hook there I change the hooks from every three to six fish and also if you have a hook sharpener you can sharpen those hooks make sure to uh, melt the sink tubing and put a uh, hook bead at the end so that your micro silver doesn't come off with your bait and always make sure that you have an anti-tangle sleeve so that it doesn't tangle with your normal line or your lead clip system and yeah like Dylan said FK specimen fast carp bait he waited about 15 minutes for that fish and it was very rewarding as he got his PB once again and yeah hopefully we catch some more using these fast cup baits Anki so I'm just gonna just take you through my setup um, this is the setup that's been catching well, all my fish <laughs> um, so as you can see I do have a normal pod, the Sonic SKS pod, I mean it's just not fully together. I prefer using the, as I say, the soccer goals or whatever you call it, just to, you know, I just, it's easier to pack away, it's, I just find it better. Um, so I've got my two alarms, the Jackal Enforce with the receiver. Um, I've just got them, so I'm still still new to them, still working them out, but they're lovely. Um, the first one I had was actually quite a, quite a while away and the receiver worked well, picked up my, my, my bite indication and I was on. Um, the receiver can go 150 meters um, I haven't tested it out yet but that's what it says and I do believe it because I have gone pretty far with the, with the receiver so it just adds another element to your game 
Um, you don't have to sit and watch your rods, which is, I mean, you can, I mean, you're supposed to, but if you want to be with around friends and stuff, socializing, the receiver is the way to go. Uh -huh. um, and then onto my, uh, my reels, um, I've got two Akuma 8K reels. Um, the one reel is filled with uh, Dawa Hypersensor line, 15 pound, and I have got a leader line on it, which is 20 pound. Um, the other one is the Iron Brown, 18 pound, 0 0.26 mils in diameter. And um, yeah, I mean, I've had no problems with the line. Um, on the casting of this line here, it, it, is, a bit, it is a bit risky. Um, but I, I thought, uh, the, it's, it's all, it's good. Like fighting a fish has had no problems with it. Um, my rods are ProLogix. Um, they were actually demo rods. Um, they are 3.2 test curve. Um, four ounce that I could probably use, but it's, I'm pushing it. Um, I prefer use, to use a three ounce and a two ounce as I can get the distance I want and I can get it the accuracy. Yeah. Um, and then onto the bobbins. These are the Predator bobbins. Um, they are light and I do prefer the using them here at Golden because you know it's you don't need not at a big venue where you have the, the waves and the heavy salt and stuff um, so they are a nice addition to have uh, if you're just starting out and stuff these are I would recommend them so yeah guys we have uh, Shimano Olivio 13 foot test curve is 3.5 and uh, I use it with a three, uh, three ounce lead, distance lead. Also, I'm using the bat atom pod, but just using it as a uh, bank sticks for a single day session at Golden Hours. I have the 8Ks, T Rock alarms, singles for now. And then also, I have the Iron Brown uh, 10 pound line. And on my other 8K, I have a 20 pound line. And same setup as this no difference and we're gonna go to the net right now and then we will get to dylan and dylan's gonna talk about our bait so like i said earlier on we're gonna go to to the net and uh i see a lot of specimen anglers here at golden harvest with nets that are messed up and fishing specimen if you're fishing specimen you should make sure that you always have a net that's big enough for the fish mm -hmm. and it's it doesn't destroy them with anything of the net they can't get stuck or the scales can't uh, mm -hmm. go loose and get damaged and this net is extendable well it is extended and it's about a meter or two well two meters long and it's also very big if you land a big fish you can just put him in here and then just do this so that they comes off and then you can just put the pole to the side and then you can just put your line to the side here anywhere on the side and then you can roll the fish up make sure that the fish's scales are all close uh, all his fins or her fins are all together and then you hold him up and then onto the cradle and then you make sure that you have a bucket of water there uh wasteling well our wasteling is away and make sure you have a scale that's suitable for the fish and if you have a mat just make sure that when the fish does jump you put a cloth over him a dark cloth or you can even use your hands and just cover his eyes for a while and here we're gonna go to dylan and he's gonna speak about the baits thank you thanks brent um <clears throat> so yeah as brent's just taken you through to our, our main stuff the, the important part of, of of specimen angling I mean, specimen angling is not just about catching big fish, and it's more about the care of them, you know. I've also seen a lot of anglers that hold the fish by their gills and, you know, drop them on the floor. And, you know, you want to do things, if you don't have a landing mat or a cradle or something, do, the, do, do what you need to do in the water, please, because you want to you wanna catch them again, you want to look after the fish. Um, so, thanks for that, Brent. And then onto, onto our baits that we're using, um, obviously we're using FK specimen. Um, so basically I'm using what we got here as the pineapple boilie from FK Specimen in a PVA bag along with the VIX uh, glug. Uh, just put a little bit inside the bag just to give it a bit of an enhancement. Um, so yeah, uh, Brent, Brent obviously also got his own stuff inside, you know, of, on his rods. Um, but these baits are lovely, they work, they're fast and the fish here at Golden I, I think starting to love them. So. What can I say? FK specimen is really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Brent. 
Anything yeah. you want to add? I just want to say, if gay specimen pop ups and wafters are just something else, they take our angling as anglers to another level and FK specimen all the way even though we just got into it we've caught fish uh, over very short sessions like Monday we were here at Golden we had 20 runs on them so they really prove that they fast carp bait and also that they just smell wonderful FK specimen thank you Casey for the video thank you Dylan for netting and you know the vibes thank you